In this screencast video lecture, we will try to understand about the photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis is a prime biological process that operates on the earth and it fuels every ecosystem in the earth. Say, it is the one which supplies the carbon there in the grassroot level of any kind of an ecosystem of the earth. Currently, only two mechanisms that is photosynthesis and phototrophy are available in converting solar radiation into chemical energy. Now, we try to look at into detail of these two processes. The first process photosynthesis refers to one in which the light energy is used to generate the ATP and further the light energy is used for fixation of carbon dioxide into cell carbon that is by the process of photosynthesis. This is accomplished through chlorophyll a pigment containing protein complexes that are known as photochemical reaction centers in which light causes a photochemical oxidation of the chlorophyll molecule this ensuing the electron transfer reactions to take place. This is secondarily coupled to generate electrochemical gradient that is proton motive force which mediates the ATP synthesis. The majority of the autotrophic carbon dioxide fixation there in the earth is a result of this chlorophyll based phototrophy that is through photosynthesis. These organisms are technically referred as a chlorophototrophic organisms also. Thus, chlorophototrophic that is photosynthetic group of bacteria are believed to account for as much as one half of the total autotrophic carbon dioxide fixation that takes place in the earth. The second mechanism is the one in which light energy is converted into chemical energy through the process of phototropy, which again depend upon certain membrane bound proteins especially bacteriorhodopsin or proteorhodopsin that are covalently bound to the retinal chromophore. Light energy directly leads to proton translocation across the biological membrane and this results in the proton motive force formation that mediates the ATP synthesis in this group of organism without carbon fixation. Because of the presence of this particular pigments, mainly bacteria rhodopsin and proteorhodopsin that are all similar to that of the retinal pigments that have been present in the higher organism, these organisms are referred as a retinolophototrophic organism, that is retinal pigment containing phototrophic organism. They convert the light into biochemical energy, that is ATP. None of the retinolophototrophic organism has yet been shown to use carbon dioxide as a sole source of carbon that is they are unable to fix carbon dioxide into cell carbon. Thus these organisms are phototrophic in nature but they are not photosynthetic. Example of these organisms Halobacterium salinarum that generates ATP that is energy by using sunlight with the help of a retinolo pigment that is bacteriorhodopsin but it uses glucogenic amino acids especially arginine and aspartate as their carbon sources. Chlorophyll based phototrophy is uniquely a bacterial invention. Apart from that it is also present there in the eukaryotic domain that is the plant system. But none of the archaeal organism or archaeal group of bacteria has yet been shown to synthesize chlorophyll. Although there are at least 40 major bacterial phyla seems to be existing, only 5 were known to possess members that are phototrophic in nature, that is through use of the chlorophyll. The important phototrophic members belong to the 7 phyla are cyanobacteria, chlorobi that refers to the green sulfur group of bacteria, chlorofluxy phyla that refers to the filamentous anoxygenic phototrophic group of bacteria certain proteobacteria, firmicutes, acidobacteria and even gemati monadate members were phototrophic in nature. Phototrophic organisms are again divided into two groups. One is a photo autotrophic in nature that is they use energy from sunlight and this energy is used for reducing the atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon or organic compounds and the other group is a photo heterotrophy. Those organisms that use energy from the sunlight whereas carbon is not synthesized from carbon dioxide. However, carbon is obtained from a 
preformed organic carbon sources such as an acetate this group of organisms are referred as a photoheterotrophic in nature a classical example here is a rhodospirulum thus the photosynthesis requires light sensitive pigments the chlorophyll which is commonly found in plants algae and group of prokaryotes especially the cyanobacteria sunlight reaches the phototrophic organism in packets of energy referred as a quanta absorption of the light energy by chlorophyll begins the process of photosynthetic energy conversion and this finally results in the formation of chemical energy that is atp the photoautotrophy requires two distinct set of reaction that need to operate or takes place parallelly the first one is a atp production and second one is a carbon dioxide reduction or carbon fixation there inside the cell for autotrophic growth energy is supplied from atp and electron for the reduction of carbon dioxide directly comes from the nadh or nadph the latter are produced by the reduction of nadp or nad by electrons originating from various electron donors there inside the cell 